He just hit the um 1300 day. But anyway, anyway, um, Roman did not retain his championship tonight. He lost. As you can see on the screen, Cody is the brand new championship um, champion. Now, I don't know if they're going to go back to the Soul WWE title. Or they're going to keep the uh, one title, keep calling it undisputed. But Roman was 1,316 days, which is the longest ever in the modern day era. So, Cody put up a fight, man. And, I, and he, he definitely said that what he's going to do. He had Brandy at the entrance. When I saw Brandy at the entrance and his mother there, we kind of, I definitely knew that Roman was not going to walk out the title tonight. But Cody definitely uh, told us that he was going to finish the story. I have to finish the story. And that's exactly what Cody Rose did tonight. He finished the story. He's the brand new WWE Undisputed Universal Champion. And with that being said, after all the hard work Cody's done, the Royal Rumble winner, he definitely, definitely, definitely got out shot without design. So he definitely deserves that championship. He won. Um, this is the first time ever Cody's been a world champion in WWE. First time ever a Rose held a world championship. As they stated over and over, um, his dad did not become a champion. His brother did not become a champion. Um, you know, he did it. Definitely don't deserve it. Why is that Rashad White? What's going on? Why does a Cody Rose deserve the um undisputed universal championship? Why does he deserve it? He won the Royal Rumble this year. He eliminated CM Punk in the 30 man Royal Rumble. He earned the right to face Roman Reigns. You know, um, he even even though he lost last night at night one of the tag team match determining the rules for tonight's match was bloodline rules since he lost and he did defeat Roman since it was bloodline rules he beat Pin him in the middle of the ring one, two, three, despite all the distractions from bloodline, John Cena Undertaker um, Solo Jimmy, even Seth Ross came in what do you mean he don't deserve it, what are you talking about now they say Cody crybabies, are we gonna have Roman crybabies now are you a Roman Cry baby Rashad? Just want to know what's your why do you think he don't deserve it? Cody did win a Royal Rumble. I mean, it's not like he it's not like he cut corners to earn a shot against Roman. So yeah, don't don't be a Cody hater, man. Cody deserve it, man. I like to travel to you myself. I like Roman Reigns. I'm, I'm a big fan of Roman Reigns, but he lost. The way around it, he lost fair and square. Bloodline rules. Well, hell, there was no rules. Bloodline rules. What more can you do? Roman was chat 1316 days. Speaking of which, speaking of which, he may not have walked out of WrestleMania 40 night to his champion tonight, but he did still make history. What do I mean by that? Roman Reigns. Has nine WrestleMania main events in WWE history. He's the first and only person to ever do that. And he had the championship for 1,300 days, the longest ever in modern era. I know he's supposed to beat Hulk Hogan's record. Many people, including myself, thought he was going to accomplish that feat this year, September. But ultimately, it didn't go down like that since he lost tonight against uh, Cody. But Cody deserves it. He definitely deserves his this win. Cody went through hell. Remember, he had Roman beat last year at WrestleMania 39 before Solo came in and decked him with the Samoan Spike. And he lost 
that match. You know, and then he lost last night. He won this match under bloodline rules. Cody deserves this win. I don't know what you mean you don't deserve it. I know everybody got their own opinion. I just want to know why you think that. Patricio, if I said it right, Patricio Vallejo said he deserved. Mr. Goodrich said definitely deserved it. Cody Truth, he fit a story. Tell me what his story was first. I just, I just don't like him now. If he was a heel, if I would like him. Well, the story is Cody Rhodes came back to WWE in 2022. He won the World Rumble in 2023. WrestleMania, you know, he faced Roman last year, got cheated when he had him beat, like I said. Uh, Solo cheated when he after he was barred from ringside. Um, Roman hit, to, hit the spear, but he lost. Instead of Cody complaining and whining about it, instead of going on a little rant, you know, he went to this year's Royal Rumble and won again. He won, won the Royal Rumble two years in a row. First person to start both the golf and do it in 97, 98. And he faced Roman. And then Rock stepped in and tried to take that spot from him. So he definitely, that's his story. And he finished the story. But that but that part of the story is over. Now he just now that he's champion, he has to retain and keep the belt. He he deserves that. Uh he definitely deserves the uh power that he holds. I mean, let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Who else was Roman Reigns gonna face? Roman has faced Cody. He faced Cena, Edge, Daniel Bryan. That's the guys that are not here no more. Most of the ones are still here, which is Drew McIntyre, which is um, Seth. By well, Seth, he didn't. It was disqualification, but Seth didn't beat him either. Finn Balor. He defeated. He defeated Kevin Owens multiple times. Sami Zayn. Jay Uso. I mean, who? Uh, L.A. Knight recently. Randy Orton and AJ Styles in the four-way match at World Rumble. Who else was Roman going to face? Roman was running out of competitors. And he's part-time. A part-time champion. It was time for a new champion. And I should have known when Triple H came at WrestleMania 40, start off the show, night one, he said that we're doing it in a new era. So when he said that it should have a light bulb should off for all our heads thinking we're gonna have brand new world champions, not just for women's division, but men's too. And Triple H, as we know, he is not a fan of part-time champion. So we should have known that Roman was not gonna keep his belt. It was a good chance he was gonna lose, especially after winning the blood the uh, tag match that night. I, there's no way Roman's gonna win the tag match and also win his own match against Cody. No. All of these guys that stay with the company that have so much built to be pushed aside for a guy that quit to start another company, they quit the company to come back. Look how look, look how they did Kofi. I mean, Richard, I mean, that's true what you're saying, but Kobe, he did lead the company because he was upset of uh, creative differences, which was Stardust, and he went and left and this is even before he started AW. He went on the independent scene. And he was the top guy in the independent scene. When he left in what 2016, 2016, 2017. Before he was doing this thing with Reign of Honor, Impact, NWA. He was champion of those brands, by the way, too. And he his vibe, when he made a name for himself on independent scene, his stock went up, his value went up. And then he started AEW. Now he left there reportedly. You know, Cody don't he's political. He had uh, issues with the elite, Kenny Omega, the Bucks, and Tony Khan, how things were being ran. And his wife was a part of the women's division. She was chief brand officer. And yes, he did come back, but when Cody left for 2016, and when he came back six years later, 2022, Cody has got very popular now. And now he's the champ. 
You know, Kofi Kingston, since you brought his name up, let's be honest, I like Kofi, but was Kofi really a good champion? Was Kofi really a guy that you see as a multiple-time world champion? Is he really a guy that you would say, hey, he's the face of the company, you know, shaking and dancing and talking about bootios and all that kind of garbage? No, he's not. CM Punk versus Roman would have been great. That wasn't going to happen. That's, I mean, that still can happen, Rashad. Just Roman won't be champion anymore. You guys, you guys think Roman is going to be gone forever? He just, he's still part time, and Sam Punk ain't going nowhere. He finished the story, Cody, Cody, Cody. Yeah, he finished the story, but yeah, um, Cody Rhodes, he, um, he, he put the work in. He put his work in independence thing. Like I said, he was the Ring of Honor World Champion. He was the NWA World Champion. And I, I don't think he was the team. I don't think he was the Impact World Champion. If he was, I know he was on Impact with his wife, Brandy, which is TNA now again. But he definitely, I mean, look, he even dyed his hair a different color. When he was with WWE, his hair was a whole different color. I mean, Cody definitely did his thing, and he is well-deserved. Well deserved. So congratulations to Cody. He definitely deserved to be champ. And I can only only t- and I'm looking forward to see what his new feud is gonna be. He more likely will be on SmackDown since so that's a SmackDown branded world championship, which was Roman was on. So you got Damian on Raw, Cody on SmackDown. Um it's gonna be interesting to see what's gonna happen. You got Kevin Owens on SmackDown, Randy Orton, LA Knight, Bobby Lashley, Karrion Cross, Logan Paul. You got a nice handful of guys over there. Nice handful of guys over there. So only time will tell what they're going to do. But Cody, who his rivalries will be, you know, what kind of um, what kind of master he will be as world champion. So congratulations to Cody 